Now let's turn to Edo State, where the federal government, through the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, have handed over two returned artifacts to the Oba of Benin, Oba Ewarue II. The monarch expressed his appreciation to the federal government during a ceremony for the reception of the artifacts at the palace in Benin City, the Edo State capital. <laughs> This ceremony marks the beginning of the physical presentation of these rich cultural artworks of the people of Benin Kingdom, which were cut away over 100 years ago to the Oba of Benin, Ey II, commending the commitment of the president and others who worked in securing the return of these works of art to their place of origin. The monarch said, "The people of Edo are internally grateful." There is consensus now that heritage items must be returned to their place of origin. For this, we commend both Jesus College of Cambridge University and the University of Aberdeen in Scotland for their peace-setting initiative in returning these two bronzes. Of course, there remain a very large number of our artifacts out there. The representative of the president and the director general of the National Commission for Museums and Monuments assured the people that government will leave no stone unturned in ensuring that all that were cut away are returned to the palace. I'm here just for one assignment as directed by Muhammad Buhari, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The assignment is very simple to directly bring these objects to Oba of the Kingdom. That is the presidential directive. And like you know, this is a talk and do government. We promise we are going to bring these artifacts, and these artifacts are here. We want to seem to be doing the right thing so that all artifacts of Benin Kingdom and all other artifacts, of course, taken away from Nigeria, are returned to their rightful place. With this return, the more expected, the historical value and rich heritage of the Benin Kingdom cannot be seen than being told as mere tales. Paul Ezingwa, TVC News, Benin.